Hello, this is David Hill with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today, we're going to hang out. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Google Hangouts. Using Google Hangouts as your SMS or text message provider. You can do this on any Android phone that's running Android 4.3 or higher. Um, I'm going to show you a video on how to set it up. But basically, Hangouts can replace your text messaging client. And I've been using it for, hmm, I don't know, almost a year. And uh, I love it as my text messaging client. Uh, it does a really good job. It also gives you some really nice emoticons if you use emoticons in your text messages. But it does, it does uh, allow you to send animated GIFs in text messages, whereas many text message clients don't let you send a GIF. It'll let you send it, but it doesn't really work as a GIF. But uh, Hangouts is a great text messaging client. Uh, it works on any, as I said, Android phone running 4.3 or higher. Um, but it will not work on iOS, and you cannot access your text messages on your computer in your Google Hangouts there. It is strictly for your phone. But uh, go ahead and take a look at the video. See what you think. With Hangouts, you can stay in touch with family and friends. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to send and receive text messages with your phone using Hangouts. You also can send multimedia messages to share photos, videos, and even animated GIFs. You can use these SMS and MMS features if you have the Hangouts app on Android 4.0 and higher. Just remember that all text message charges through your mobile carrier still apply. First, check which device you're using for Hangouts. If you're using a Nexus 5, Hangouts is already installed as your primary text messaging app. But if you're not on a Nexus 5 and are using Android 4.4 or higher, you'll need to make Hangouts your primary text messaging app. Here's how. Open the Hangouts app on your Android device and go to Settings. Open the SMS section and touch SMS Disabled. The change will make Hangouts your primary text messaging app. If you're using Android 4.3 or lower, you'll need to turn on text messages in Hangouts. First, open the Hangouts app on your Android device and go to Settings. Open the SMS section and check the box beside Turn on SMS. The change will make Hangouts your primary text messaging app. When you turn on SMS, all of your existing text messages are imported into Hangouts. You can only access these messages on your Android phone and not from any other Hangouts on the web, iOS device, or your tablet. If you decide later you don't want to use Hangouts as your text messaging app, uncheck the box beside Turn on SMS. Once you've turned on text messages in Hangouts, there are three ways to add a contact for the text message. Your first option is to open a new Hangout page and type the phone number directly in the search box. The second way is to search for a contact's name or number in the new Hangout page. Then choose Send SMS to and touch the number or contact you want to message. The third option is to choose a contact from the conversations list. Then choose SMS from the drop-down items. If your contact isn't available on a Hangouts and has a phone number, you'll see an SMS icon with the contact's profile photo. Once you've chosen the contact, type what you want to say in the message box. You can also send photos or videos through text messages. To send a photo or video with your text message, on the right side of the message box, touch the camera icon. A box will appear where you can choose what you want to do. Take a photo, take a video, or attach an existing photo. Once you've made your selection, touch the send icon to send the message. You also can customize your settings for text and multimedia messages. You can adjust your notifications to vibrate or sound, delete old messages, automatically display multimedia messages, and more. If you have more than one Hangouts account, you can only use one at a time for text messages. Another setting you can manage is for wireless alerts. It lets you control whether you receive emergency alerts like Amber Alerts or extreme weather threats so you're aware of major events near your location. Now you can keep up with all your family and friends in one place by using the Hangouts app to send and receive text and multimedia messages for your phone number. For more information about sending and receiving text and multimedia messages using Hangouts, go to the Hangouts Help Center at support.google.com forward slash Hangouts. 
So if you have an Android phone running 4.3 or higher, go ahead and try Hangouts as your text message client. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and Tech Dive TV Help Desk. You have a great day.